What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. And if you're brand new here, welcome. And make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. So this week's going to be a little bit different where I typically create just kind of tutorials and implementation things for you guys. Uh, this week I'm actually working on a piece for somebody. I was browsing around on Twitch the other day and I came across this UK streamer by the name of Finley Fu on fire. Uh, oddly enough, as of recording this intro, uh, he is currently live. Uh, he does this really cool thing every Wednesday called Wicked Wednesday where he plays a horror game. And his viewers can use loyalty points to create uh, sound effects on his channel. So he had asked me if I could make some like jump scares and creepy ambience for him. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so before we jump into this week's video, I do have one really cool announcement and one thing that I need to apologize for. The really cool announcement is I have a secondary camera over top of my MIDI keyboard so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And the apology part is when I record into OBS and I record in Pro Tools, I have to use two different audio drivers. And every once in a while, the audio driver that I use in Pro Tools glitches out and it kind of causes the audio to kind of glitch out. And so that doesn't affect the final outcome of the product. Uh, it just might be a little annoying for you guys. So I do apologize ahead of time. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and jump over here into Pro Tools. And I've got my contact player. And we're going to start with creating some creepy environment sounds. Um, I'm not going to record every single thing that I create for Finley. I'm just going to show you my process and kind of how I come up with things like this. So we're going to start out with the environments. I'm probably going to try and make like two or three different environments and two or three different jump scare sounds. So the first environmental sound uh, that I'm going to create, I'm going to use uh, the ethereal earth here in my contact player. And uh, yeah, with that being said, Let's go ahead and start with that. Alright, so for this next layer that I'm going to add, I'm going to use kinetic metal uh, and I'm going to use the, the creaky door preset. So let's go ahead and add that in. Okay, so there was a, a high pitch sound in there that I didn't really care for. So I messed with the settings here in Kinetic Metal and got rid of it. And I think I'm actually going to come in here and get rid of that high note. I just want it to be a low drone. Okay, so for this last layer, I'm again jumping back into the contact player and using the Xylo Polyphones out of the kinetic treats and on my keyboard over here I've got the octaves all the way down which I've actually been doing this whole time um, but it kind of creates this really cool sound 
I want to add that in as a layer. I'm not sure that I'm going to do too much more after this. I think this ambience all in itself is sounding pretty cool. So let's go ahead and record that and then we'll move on. <laughs> So I think that's going to be really cool for one of the ambiences. Like I said, I'm probably going to do like two or three ambiences and two or three jump scares for him. Um, so that being said, let's switch over and look at one of the jump scares. All right. So for this jump scare, I'm actually using contact again. And over here on my MIDI keyboard, I've got the octaves cranked all the way up so that we're in the, the high register. <laughs> And I wanted to kind of create that classic um, violin-esque jump scare. And to do that, I really just have to smack the keyboard. Um, so to kind of give you an example, then we get that kind of, like I said, classic horror movie jump scare. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record here and uh, just get a few takes. All right, so I really actually just like the first one that I did. Uh, so what I've also done is I took the exact same notes and I moved them, uh, copied them down quite a bit. And I also added the same notes on piano. So then this is what we end up with. So you can hear how it kind of has that classic horror movie vibe to it. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap things up for this video. I know it was kind of short, but I didn't want to take away from the sounds that are over on Finley's channel. So if you want to hear the rest of what I've created, make sure you go give him a follow on Twitch. Again, there will be a link to his channel in the description below. If you want to join the Sound Effects Guy Discord community, there will be a link to that in the description below as well. Until next time.